Larry Mann of the Park Plaza Cinemas did not win the billion-dollar-plus lottery this last week. I don't think you did, did you? No. Oh, okay, you might have been down in Florida. But anyway, but you've done the second best thing. You've run a movie theater in the summer, which was the worst thing to do during COVID, but it is the best thing going right now. How great a summer has it been for operators of movie theaters nationwide and and, and here in the low country yeah it uh, it's been a, a record year yeah. uh, or a record month i month, should say yeah. um it uh, nobody really expected it the we knew that oppenheimer was going to be a pretty significant film barbie was a total surprise for most people <laughs> And uh, but a good surprise, yeah. and for us and for most theater operators around the country, uh, it gave us the best July we've ever had. How much longer can we still get into the theaters? To, is it is are they going to be there for a while longer? Is, is uh, by Labor Day are they going to be gone? By Labor Day, yes, they'll be gone. Okay, um, but they will be there till the end of August. All right. Both. So if you want to see it a second time. If you didn't get Barbie the first time and you want to get it the second time, you, better, you better get going. You guys, the, the one thing, the writer's strike and, and the things that are going on uh, with, with SAG and whatever is affecting, apparently, is the promotion of movies, not so much the completion of movies. So you've got some great movies coming up, but right now nobody's talking about them. Tell us what's coming <laughs> this fall. Yeah, it's, uh, that is a... a, a bit of a stumbling block for the with the strike as of right now. All mm -hmm. the movies are complete, ready right. to go. Our year end is very strong. Um, we have a, a, a couple of movies in September that'll do big numbers, which usually is a slow month. Uh, Denzel Washington has another Equalizer 3. A okay. uh, couple <laughs> weeks after him, we have yeah. My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. 3? Wow. <laughs> okay. But then as we get into October, uh, I think a movie that's going to just be a tremendous movie in October for us and for everybody, yeah. uh, people to come see the movie, it's uh, The Killers of the Flower Moon. It's a true story. It took place in the 1920s in Oklahoma right. involving the Osage Indian tribe and their discovery of oil on their reservation right. and how all of a sudden, mysteriously, they all disappeared. Yeah. And uh, it's a fascinating story. Um, Martin Scorsese, who directs it, uh, and Leonardo DiCaprio, who stars in it, were both at uh, our convention here a few months ago at okay. CinemaCon in Las Vegas, and uh, had a, a great interaction with each other, talking about the story, just the, uh, you know, the, what what it means in in history, and uh, and and just the movie itself. But that'll be good. Uh, we've got another. Uh, um, Hunger Games, okay. uh, Aquaman, they both come out at Thanksgiving. Uh, the, the end of the year will wind up uh, pretty strong with uh, probably one of the biggest movies is uh, Oprah, Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey's movie, The Color Purple okay. Musical. It's a musical. And it's, okay. uh, it's, it's basically a spinoff from the Broadway play mm -hmm. that's been on Broadway for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. uh, fabulous movie. Music is excellent. And uh, uh, another big year-end movie at Christmas is Ferrari, okay. which is the story of Enzo Ferrari oh, and yeah. the early stages of the Ferrari, you know, motor company and getting into Formula One racing. And it's a true story. It's, yeah. it's You're fascinating. You're probably going to get a Ferrari between now and then so you can <laughs> park something right out front uh, you know, to, to get folks to come. Just like we had good. some pink uh, Jeeps and other cars <laughs> out front for, uh, for Barbie. Yeah, there you go. No, uh, no Corvettes, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Mann of Park Plaza Cinemas. A pretty encouraging look at the fall. It's going to be a lot of fun, and you've still got time to catch Barbie and Oppenheimer if you haven't yet. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. All Always right. good to be here. We want to thank Larry and Marcus and all of our guests today for helping make us just a little bit smarter. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.